In the previous video, we have implemented Vertex Position Helper class that will be used by our ASTAR algorithm. Now let's create the algorithm itself. So let's create a new C Sharp class, call it ASTAR. And let's open it up. OK. It will not derive from a, a mono behavior. Let's delete all the methods inside our class. And what we'll do, we will make this class static. OK. So now we are going to create public static list vector 3. And I need to import, uh, say, using system.generics. Alt enter using system. Collections.generics and we will call it get path. Let's pass to it vector 3. Start position. So let's call, call it start. Vector 3. End or exit to be consistent. Bool array, our obstacles array. And lastly, our map grid. Map grid. Alt enter. I need to say using my namespace and say let's say grid. Great. So now we have all the values that we need to make our A star calculate our path. So what we will need to do first is let's create vertex position for our start and exit points. So start vertex equals new. Vertex position start. And let's copy the same thing, uh, paste it below, and let's say instead of start, let's say exit, and vertex from exit. Great, we have our two points on our uh, A star grid. Uh, so let's now create a list of uh, vector threes. This will be the path. And let's initialize it to a new linked uh, list of vector threes. So we will return it anyhow. So let's say return path. But if we find our path, we will fill it in with the uh, vector threes of the vertex positions that we have found to be the path uh, between our two points. So first of all, we need to add start vertex uh, to our open list, which we need to create. So first of all, let's create list of a vertex positions and let's call it open list equals new list great and again we also need to have closed list and instead of list we will use a hash set so let's say hash set of type vertex position closed list equals new hash set great so now what we need to do is calculate the estimated cost for our start vertex. So start vertex uh, dot estimated cost equals, and we will create a new method called Manhattan distance. And we will pass to it our start vertex and our exit vertex. So two positions that we want to check uh, the distance between. Let's alt enter on this method and generate this method in our A star uh, class. And we can see that it was created here. OK. I need to rename it. OK. So the Manhattan distance is calculated simply by returning uh, the math f dot abs of our position for start vertex dot uh, x minus exit position dot uh, x and we will add to it math f dot abs uh, the start vertex dot z minus exit vertex dot z okay so now let's slide up we have our start vertex estimated cost we need to add it to our opened list. Add start vertex. And next, we need to create a vertex position placeholder called current vertex equals null. 
Great. So we have our placeholder for storing our current vertex. Next we will call while loop and well open list is the count is greater than zero. Then we are going to say open list sort to sort the values inside our list. Uh, using the compare to that we have implemented to our vector position. Next, we are going to say current vertex equals open list uh, index zero because we know that the count is greater than zero, so there is a zeroth element in our list. Next, if current vertex by any chance is equal to our exit vertex, so we need to know if we have reached the end. If yes, then we are going to call while our current vertex is different than start vertex because we do not want to have start vertex on our path. We are going to call path add uh, the current vertex dot position, and we are going to say current vertex equals current vertex dot previous vertex. So at some point we are going to reach the start position when we get the previous vertex and we went, then want to stop. We want to call path.reverse because we have started from the exit point. Uh, we have added the exit point first to our path. So we need to reverse the order and start from, start from the end. So the first uh, cell after the start point and we are going to call break. And basically our path, uh, our function will return the path. On the other hand, if we have not yet reached the end, we are going to call var uh, array of neighbors. Equals, and we are going to create a method called find neighbors uh, for, and we are going to pass the current vertex we are going to pass the exit vertex, we are going to pass the grid, and we are going to pass the obstacles array. Great. Actually, we do not need the exit vertex. Next, now we can click Alt Enter on this and generate this method. And we will want to return to here a vertex position array. Great. And what we need to do here is to calculate the neighbors for our current vertex. So let's create an array vertex positions uh, list uh, or array of neighbors equals new vertex position. And we know that we have we can give maximally four uh, neighbors. So next we call int array index equals zero. This will be the index. Uh, to give to our array. Next, for each a var neighbor or possible neighbor in our vertex positions dot possible neighbors static variable or static list rather. And now we are going to call vector three position. We need to calculate the position of our uh, possible vertex. So new vector three, we are going to give it a vertex or current vertex dot x plus possible neighbor dot x zero on y axis and the same current vertex dot z plus possible vert neighbor dot z as the z value and this would be our position for the neighbor. Next what we need to do is call grid is cell valid because we need to check if this position actually belongs to our grid. So position dot x and position dot z. If it is valid we are going to calculate the index using grid dot calculate index from coordinates position dot x and position dot z we're going to call array 
of neighbors array index and we are going to set it to new vertex position position and our obstacles array so array of our obstacles dot in, uh, of uh, index so we will give it a value for if it is taken uh, if it is an obstacle or not okay i'm lacking the exit brackets here great and after adding to this list we will call array index plus plus to increase the index and basically we are going to return our array of neighbors so that's that is how we are getting the neighbors for each vertex position on our grid and now we need to go for each neighbor in array of neighbors first of all we need to check if neighbor isn't null because we have array of four elements but it can contain one two three or four so if it is null or if closed set closed list contains our neighbor if it is so we are going to simply continue to the next neighbor if there is one else if our neighbor is taken equals false because we do not want to take uh, obstacles into account if it isn't equals uh, obstacle if it isn't an obstacle we're going to calculate var total cost equals current vertex total cost plus one next we are going to call var neighbor estimated cost equals manhattan distance and i'm missing one t here okay i cannot yet rename it we are going to pass to it the neighbor and we are going to pass to it exit vertex okay and now i can control rr and rename it with double t great and what we need now is to call neighbor total cost equals total cost the neighbor previous vertex equals current vertex and neighbor dot estimated cost equals total cost plus our neighbor estimated cost so basically we could have another uh, variable some uh, cost for example to uh, store this value but i am storing this inside the estimated cost and then we are uh, sorting this uh, list of our neighbors by the estimated cost itself so this might be a little misleading for some of you i hope it is not okay so next we are going to check if open list contains our neighbor equals false so if we do not have this neighbor in our open list we are going to say open list add our neighbor so we do not want to add this neighbor twice because we know that we have reached this neighbor previously so the previous vertex of this neighbor that is already on the open list leads to somewhere to some shorter path than we are currently at uh, so basically uh, that's mostly it and after for each loop we are going to say closed list add and we are going to say current vertex and actually this is uh, the closed hash set but let's leave this name closed list as it is and we are going to say open list remove our current vertex because we do not want to check it again we have checked it and uh, extracted all the information from it so basically that's it that's how we have implemented our a star and one last issue that we have that our possible neighbor doesn't have z it has a y value because it is a vector to int so basically that's it that's how we have implemented our a star algorithm 
In the next video, we will use this algorithm to calculate the path between our two points.